There was a parade, or perhaps you might say a lineup, of witnesses today before a Senate subcommittee investigating organized crime and the possibility that villains and evildoers just might have some influence in the Longshoremen's Union and activities on the docks. We have this report from Britt Hume. The Senate has been investigating the mob for 20 years, and there is nothing new about mob control of the waterfront. But lately, a long list of international longshoremen's officials has been convicted of racketeering. Still, the senators have been told the mafia influence continues. So today, the subcommittee wanted to hear from some of the hoods themselves. The trouble with hoods, though, is they don't say much. Russell Buffalino, alleged head of the Pennsylvania underworld. Fifth Amendment right. I respectfully decline to answer any questions. Step down in favor of the mob. Michael, Michael Fomenti, now doing time in Danbury for racketeering, a former longshoreman's official. Witnesses Taking the Fifth Amendment again. You have a seat. Uh, Would you please hold up your right hand? Tino Fumara, now in Leavenworth for extortion, a dreaded capo of the Genovese family. Fumara, the committee said, is the man who bumped off Peter Flatnose Martello and the Colucci brothers, Patsy and Nicky. On advice of counsel, I'd like to invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege. Also scheduled, Anthony Scotto, alleged mafioso and convicted union official. But that's his lawyer, who claims Scotto was ill. Sludge in his gallbladder, said the lawyer. Finally, Teddy Gleason, the 80-year-old former dock worker who has headed the Longshoremen's Union for 18 years. What about that mob influence? That nobody dominates the offices of this union. Especially me. If but what about the long list of convicted attention. union officials? Well, at some getting... of these here, and I want you to believe this, I don't need, I never heard of them. The issue of mob influence in unions is like the weather. They've been talking about it around here for years, but nobody's yet been able to do much about it. Britt Hume, ABC News, on Capitol Hill.